guys. Today's video is just gonna be kind of like a little phone vlog. I uh, just felt like doing that again. Um, it's been a busy week. I got a lot of work going on, weddings and whatnot, and uh, working on getting some trapping going for alligator snapping turtles in South Georgia in the next month. So I'm preparing for that and just taking care of things here. But I figured I'd give you guys a little update on some of the stuff that's been going on. Hey, Bumpy, what up, dude? Let's clear out your bowl. Bunch of stuff in there from storms. There we go. Get some. Ugh. That's nasty. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Kind of over the last couple months, I've noticed an increasing amount of animals kind of coming to and from here. So, started setting out some traps. Now back here, there's a possibility of some rats. So, a little bait in this little have a heart trap. They go in, boom, that thing closes on them, and then I can relocate them or do whatever. So I've got one of those there. And then also, way up in the front corner, I've had a couple like raccoon tracks pop up. And raccoons are not cool, dude. Uh, nobody likes raccoons. So what I've done is I'm borrowing a trap from my buddy and we're gonna use that trap to hopefully catch this raccoon and relocate him out to a WMA or wilderness area where somewhere where relocate him somewhere where it's a bit more acceptable for a raccoon as opposed to in my yard. Right along this fence line here, I put like my raccoon trap, I've got a couple tuna cans in there. We'll see if, uh, if anything goes in there. Maybe I should like do kind of like what Kenan did and cover this with some plants so that he's more inclined to go in there. Because otherwise it just looks like a box of jail. Hey, here's a loggerhead. What's up? That's one of the mother loggerheads. She lays the eggs that have been hatching out lately. Got a little painted turtle over there. I love this time of year. It's like a little bit cool in the mornings. It's not as brutally hot. Um, the pond stays quite a bit more clear. Right now we got all the leaves building up and I use those leaves through the winter as like kind of an insulating layer. The turtles will bury down into it. Then in the spring I drain it and take all that leaf muck out of there before it gets too disgusting. But I do leave a little bit and it kind of creates a natural bottom. Um, so this pond basically has a layer of natural bottom on it, which is awesome. And that works really good for the soft shells that are in here. It keeps their shells nice and clean, um, builds up beneficial bacteria that helps them. So really cool. Right now these guys are munching on uh, some of the larger type of duckweed. This is like the kind that's got like a fuzzy texture to it. I really like this stuff. Let's see if we see anybody cool. Oh, I see a pink bellied side neck right there. Check that out. Oh, I love seeing the pink bellies. Now the pink bellies I do have to bring inside. Um, and that's a, you know, I gotta do that every year. I accidentally left one out last year. I had lost count and it actually overwintered just fine. In fact, this may be the one that overwintered last year, but this year I am planning on bringing them all in. So we'll make sure that we get them all. I'm probably in the next month gonna, every time I see one like this, just start grabbing it and bringing it in. Let's see if we can get a hold of it and show it to you. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Oh, I grabbed the wrong pink belly. I grabbed a, re a red belly. <laughs> you can see through that glare. There's a grandis hiding right there under that log. I love these guys. They'll hang out. So this grandis will hang out in the water and then the larger one will actually stay in a burrow on land and then come out in the afternoon and evening.
One thing I do need to do is need to check on Tony. I want to check on the progress of his head healing from his original injury, which is how he made his way to me. And that's where, you know, somebody caught him fishing and shot him in the head. So I'm going to see if I can bring him up to the surface so I can get a hold of him. He's pretty curious and responds pretty well to me kind of messing with the water. And we're also going to put a, um, like a pump and a filter on this tub since he's going to be in here over winter. Uh, this tub's big enough. I mean, this is the big 300 gallon. Um, that one's like the six or 700 gallon. Um, but for this one, just having him in here, this is just fine. Uh, but I would like to, if he'll come up, I think he knows I want to grab him, so he's not coming up. Oh, here we go. What's up, buddy? I got you. All right. All right, let's get a good look at this guy. Yeah, 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 I know. I know, you're not happy. Well, that you can see that injury on his head is still, you know, it's almost, I would say, healed. You can see it's still a little bit of new flesh there, but you know, even some of the pigment has come back on there. Um, now, you can see on this side, this is the normal plate that grows on that side of the head, and then over here, that plate, half of it's missing, and um, there's also some parts of the back of the head that are missing, but overall, you can see grown back pretty pretty well um, and you know he's if you were to look straight on at his jaws so basically the jaw musculature on this side was always thicker because that was the part that was not injured and then the other side over here oh here he comes <laughs> I saw that coming a mile away but but yeah, so that jaw musculature is all growing back, which is awesome. He's able to use his jaws and eat things and uh, just doing really, really well. Uh, this guy's always been a great, yeah, here it comes. Great ambassador for his species. Not so big that it's hard to actually take him and do educational work. Um, if, if he was one of these guys that's, you know, over a hundred pounds or something, it, it's really prohibitive to, to use those guys for education because it's such a pain to bring them anywhere and it's it's hard on them too i think that those males that weigh a lot when you take them out of the water that's just a lot of physical stress on their body but you know you take him out of the water he's you know 55 60 pounds he's not so heavy that it's physically taxing on him um, but he is looking good the yellow color is interesting because that has just in the time that i've known him um, has really kind of spread and it's interesting that you know these turtles develop that as they age that kind of golden yellow color and it gets more intense uh, definitely around the breeding season I notice it gets really bright and then um, the rest of the year it can kind of get a little bit more faded or subdued but um, what in the heck are you doing I, yeah cool I've been um, lucky enough to work with this guy and have a permit to work with this guy and it's been fun to you know bring him to different events and, and schools and stuff like that and be able to educate people about these turtles Obviously, alligator snapping turtles are protected. And, uh, you know, you just want to do what you can to keep people from either poaching them or eating them or just doing ignorant stuff like what happened to him where somebody caught him fishing and for whatever reason thought that they needed to shoot him in the head. You know, that's just a... Unfortunately, that's just a... You just bit my elbow. Fortunately, that is, you know, the case here. And you can see, like, you know, you can see the dip in his skull where you know, he basically is missing all of that skull and muscle and stuff. And it's just because of human ignorance. This guy's been alive a long time. He's probably about the same age as me. And he's probably going to live a lot longer. Probably gonna live a lot longer than I do. So um, the best thing I can do is, is just to give him the best life possible and that he can help to you know, do his part in making the lives of other alligator snapping turtles better. Uh, through education and awareness. So I like Tony, man. He's the man. Thank you guys for checking out this vlog. It's always fun to do something a little bit different. Today was a vlog. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Everybody be good to each other. Peace.